So, yes, hello, and welcome back to Batman the Telltale Series. Yes, we're back for some more fun times with Batman. Now, obviously, last time uh, I played this, I was checking the audio levels and stuff, and my voice actually seems to be lower than the game. Um, so this time that should be slightly improved, I don't know. And by the way, just to point this out, the reason I'm wearing the hat is because my hair is a mess, and uh, it's a DC hat as well. Not because I think I'm gangster or I'm cool or anything. I actually am the complete opposite of those things. Uh, we're also going to be playing episode 4 in this stream, and it is midnight, nearly. I think. What time is it now? 20 to midnight. Uh, I can't sleep. I don't know why. My body is just like, mate, I want to stream. Let's do another episode of Batman. So I was like, okay. Okay, body. Okay, brain. Let's do it. So here we go. We're going to jump straight into it. Guardian of Gotham. Here we go. Bear in mind that I'm going to have to keep my voice down because I know my mum's going to be going to bed at some point. And I don't really want to be on the other end of a very angry mother. <laughs> so I would turn my light off as well. But I actually think I might be a little bit too dark. Let me try. Incredibly too dark. <laughs> Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Oswald Cobblepot. Oh dear. Not the ideal. The only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Kissy, kissy. Please, Selena, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Bruh. Dropped your pen. Uh-oh. That's not... <sighs> yeah, I, I didn't know she was working with them. I completely forgot. Like I said, I remember up until... Like, I, I forgot she was Scarecrow. Uh, Scarecrow? Scarecrow, sorry. I am Lady Arkham. And then we go to attack Cobblepot, which is not a good look for Bruce right now, considering, you know, he's not exactly looked good for a while. <laughs> game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Also, this is the start of the week of streaming. So that should be pretty fucking interesting. <laughs> you have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> The game audio is still louder than my mic, apparently. I think the only way to fix that is by plugging my mic into the capture card, and then my mic is too loud. I can't win. Oh, God. What is this place? <laughs> Welcome to Arkham. Okay, I'm off. I'm off. Well, for Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? We're infected with a 
Osiris. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Sorry, Bruce, you might be bitterly disappointed. I don't think that's his, anyway. Looks like someone was angry. You! Lovely. Very, very angry, apparently. Very, very angry. <clears throat> Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Oh, it is, Brucey boy. This can't be real. I saw my tea gone. Already, and we've only just started. Shit. I'm swearing a lot more again. I apologize, James, in the future when you're editing these and trying to beep out the swearing. <laughs> I'm going to hate myself. I'm going to be like, slap me. Better be decent. Decent enough. Settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were True. revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> ah. You're not buying your way out this time. That's what happened. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. Christ. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. You really don't wanna do that. I hope to God there is a hell. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. Wait, isn't this Joker? Whew. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bats. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so Oh, Lord. More like the opposite. What would that be? I'm fine. Just some bruises. All right. Tough guy. Nice. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. Mm -hmm. I knew that you coming to Arkham oh. would cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe. But I need Whatever to you be say. careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. John Whoa. Leland, by the way. 
head of psychiatry. I feel like I'll he's be overseeing your case. I don't think we ever actually find out. We'll if get he you is transferred series, to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't I have mean, your. I mean, the hair kind of gives it away, but you know. All over it. And the For pale now, white face. Me. I'm sorry. I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> <laughs> he's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely doing good. Price of admission. Ooh. Good start. Good start to the next episode. I think he's on my hat. He's on the other he's on the actual side. I wear John my hat. John is one of our most sorry. improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Hmm. You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself now. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> Gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Oh, God, the game runs like ass. time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... <laughs> no, no you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. <laughs> but they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. They're all a bit better. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Just take another bite. Take good care of uh. Something tells me that's not a good thing. Episode four. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone is friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. Just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. Zaz. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? Zaz. I always try to keep an eye out so. for new guys. Come in, Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right. Fear though, I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Oh. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll talk to some people. I did say talk to Billy, right? God, this game is so badly made. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Mate, you got issues. You're broken. Not you. Sorry. Victor's ass. It's his voice. It's driving me nuts. Oh, but you're already nuts. 
God, you take forever to move around or do anything. It's nuts. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Thanks. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. I'm speaking as a, <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy, but he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. Uh -huh. Wait, that's the move you're going to make, huh? Yeah. What? Why? Eh, no reason. No reason. Look. Hello. Hello. Go away, Arnold. Busy. You bother him, I will gut you. What can you tell me about uh, uh. John Doe? Oh god, John? this game is disgraceful. Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah, nothing. Disappointing. That's how. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there. And I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? What's that? Not polite at all. At all. Doctor says that's against the rules. Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Mm. I remember you. We had an interesting tussle. Mm -hmm. My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized sure at a did. local SkyTrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> I thought you Aha, two -faced. was friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. <laughs> in which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and mm. their leader, okay. Lady Arkham, before <laughs> they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. <laughs> I'm going to expose your corruption. Oh. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Please do. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicky Vale after her mysterious yeah, she's disappearance Gotham's earlier this Lady week. Lady Arkham. Very tricky, Vicky. 
I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot. Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while. Now. I don't want to work with him because that's Joker, but you know. There's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. No. If those cops had dragged you off of him, that cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. How would you know that? Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. That's concerning. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. Hmm. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely Indeed. you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. There's a lot of... And that's why yes. I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but... You're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, can... Assume I can take care of that. But it's going to come at a price. When I get out of here, you're going to owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Let's be clear about one thing. You are never, ever getting out of this place. Whatever you say, Bruce. But never is a very, very long time. Here, I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bet. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh oh. Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Just keep those hits itching. Burning! Need to. Need to get rid of it! Ah! 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 Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run!
I don't know. I feel like stopping the fight. Right, my gut instinct is saying stop the fight, so that's what we're going to do. My gut instinct. I went with my gut instinct. Simple Pretty eyes. grisly scene in there. <clears throat> Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I was just trying to f stop the fight. I tried to stop it. The, the, the whole thing was that sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Guess we're getting out of here. Alfred. Ah, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. I've missed you, Alfred. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the veils. Ask her parents. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> That's Joker. Ooh. So far, so good. Really good episode. It's interesting that we uh, we got to meet his main arch nemesis all of a sudden. But well, I just cannot believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. Yep. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Aye, that he does. Even during Batman's brief hiatus. Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. True. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Harvey, how about we just agree to go our separate ways, all right? You think you can just walk away from me? That. He's now, he's just now like two faced. That after everything you've done? Cool. Can't let you keep running around scot free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. Oh, you hell yeah. I was interested in Selena. Oh, God. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. I did nothing. I'm innocent. A real man wouldn't have done that. 
A friend wouldn't have done that. It was her decision, bro. Belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me Boom. about Selena. <laughs> We're done talking. I wonder how we're gonna get rid of the poison in our system then. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Jesus. Come on, we're oh, damn dear. Hold up. Get back to your car. Course, should have known. Go back to Ark of you, damn maniac. The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? I am tired. I am hungry. I haven't showered in three days. I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear oh, to God, dear. I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Oh, God. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! Oh, Christ. They should lock you up! Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this. Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded. Oh, hmm? Jesus. And well armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Uh... The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey. Ah. Uh... I don't know. I feel like ramming the barricade. I don't really want to hand over money and use them as like enforcers. I feel like that's going to really look bad. But I mean, our public perception as Bruce Wayne is fucked anyway. So, I mean, does it really matter if I pay them off to technically for this brief moment keep me protected? Yeah, we're paying them. I, I'm He's not. The problem, not us. Here. Them off. It's everything I have. Okay. Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. I didn't want to pay him off, but I think ramming the barricade just wouldn't have helped. But I'm welcome. See you back when. See you when you get back. <laughs> Yeah, someone tells me that's not going to be a pleasant talk. Got that face. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? I mean, it's not Don't get me wrong, off. Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. Mm -hmm. I mean, good point. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I, sure. uh, I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. We're not going to be an Thank asshole you. about it. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. 
Oh Just dear. Where you gonna go? Got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Why is no one pointing the out the blue veins on him? Of course. That's my car. Nice, Lena. See you around. Good luck with all of this. Yep, we're gonna fucking need it, that's for damn sure. I don't know if I'm actually gonna censor these. I might. I do think it would be better to censor them. It's just they're long videos, so it takes a lot longer. That's why I'm trying not to swear as much, but I have a, a, a habit of I've, I've promised myself I'm not gonna just censor and stop swearing as much as I normally do in my day-to-day -day life anyway. It's like I'm trying. I'm trying to be family friendly, but it's hard, man. <laughs> We need to get rid of this stuff inside us. It's making him I'm be a very okay. angry man. No, you're not. I just Bruce. need to get to the computer. You're not. I'm okay. exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Uh -huh. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. Alfred's got a point, but. You absolutely get must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Uh. Uh, we're not gonna read the... Here's the my point. DNA before the incident. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an Oh, antidote. wait, is it? We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Cool. Should do it. EpiPen yourself. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Does the trick? It'll That's work, it. Alfred. Feel better already. Huh. So, what are we going to do now? Of course first you things do first. first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet oh. to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. There was always something off. It's true. Your In instincts are true. very rarely wrong, sir. Bruce didn't really she was trust playing the, the entire the way I time. It. He, breaking he didn't me trust down. her at all. She wanted me in Arkham. And she did. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. 
Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. Yep. I know. Cornering an, anim an animal. I, uh, a wild met animal. Someone in Arkham who animal. gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your yeah, recent time careful. there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. Yep. No one else has that information. I mean, that's important, yeah. Alfred. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. Exactly. It's an important Told me detail. That if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. You think? Got it. Bruce! Yeah? Uh, if you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. Batman away. <laughs> well, at least we haven't got the... Uh drug in Bruce's system anymore controlling him that's positive so now it's just mainly making sure that he doesn't get caught by Lady Arkham again that's more tricky <laughs> Gotham Heights Vale residence here we go I'm Batman <laughs> I'm inside the Vale House. There you are, Batman. There you are. Oh, that's not good. It's like they knew we were coming. Damage shooting stuff because we can't get it repaired. That is unfortunate. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't this know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it. Don't know why this microphone sure is picking up so lightly. I think the cable's damaged. At least that's my guess. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Practice. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Yeah, no kidding. So they're definitely linked. What's next? Family photo? Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Well, I think we can safely say that the syringe is linked to her. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. So our stuff is acting up because the suit's damaged and we can't get it repaired because we've got a guy on the inside. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Hmm. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Okay. Anything else? It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Plenty. Found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. 
he's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft That's tissues. Rough. Looks like a company logo. Same one from before. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. So, well, we know what the logo links to. Obviously, the logo links to this. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And hmm. now Vicky's got it. Interesting choice. Well, we also know where the blood splatter is obviously going to be linked to the belt buckle. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Rough. But we've still got a knife on the floor and nothing else to link to it. Oh wait, the hair. Oops, I actually forgot about the hair. <laughs> Literally just seen it not that long ago and I forgot about it. Whoopsie. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. Makes to sense. do that, she needed them out of the way, with Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. Jeez. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. It's going to be the kid, is it? here, I'll find them. It's gonna be the kid, uh, the kid, the kid, isn't it? Clear. Poor thing. Nothing here. It's probably petrified, to be honest. Anything? No. Fire was on. That seems a bit strange. I don't think the fire has been on recently. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Yep, kid. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred boy from the photo is he all right aside from the shock and a few bruises he seems okay he might be able to tell me more about what happened uh, possibly but if that's the road you go down please do it with caution yeah this is a child we're dealing with not an adult oh i hope that's just my leg hey it's gonna be okay you're gonna be all right I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. 
fighting the police? I don't know who. Hmm. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. Aww. See, that does help me. Thank you. That's all we needed. Get down. <laughs> Damn it, Cobble Pop. Gosh darn it. Job, kid. Good distracting. Ten out of ten. Nice work, kid. No. <laughs> Just that little smile. Oh God. <gasps> oh. They're dead. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll look away. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, Aww. that will always be true. Yay! And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. Aww. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who is the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> home sweet home. Man, that was a long chapter. Good chapter, though. I mean, think about it. When we left, just as we were leaving Arkham, that was end of the second chapter. That one took a while. Worth it, though. Oh, excuse me. Birkin hiccuping. What's next? And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. 
Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It just doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Yeah, something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. I'm sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. That sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, hmm. I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control That's of the attack. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure. But I, I can certainly to... see what I can we're do. We're at a disadvantage Thanks, right Lucius. Now. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Uh -oh. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better Here purpose we go. of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him oh, on a more Christ. personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Well, look. Uh let's think about this logically right now if we go as batman he hates batman he blames batman for the fact that he was injured and hurt on the other hand he's not a big fan of bruce right now because bruce fucked his woman took his woman <laughs> and then screwed him over completely i don't know he doesn't like bruce he doesn't like batman i mean either way I do not see a good resolution coming out of this. I mean, if we go as Bruce, there is a way to kind of do it in a calm manner so that it avoids kind of a big uproar. But if we go as Batman, we could just force his hand, but then that makes Batman look awful. And right now, Batman's public perception is good. So, I mean... Oh, it's a tricky, tricky choice. I really want to go as Batman, but we are going to go as Bruce. This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I I'm know gonna you try. can get through to him. It's probably not going to work. I probably should have gone as Batman, but I don't want to like make Batman look like a bad guy. I need Batman's image to stay positive so that the people of Gotham still have like faith in him. Whereas with Bruce, his fucking reputation is screwed anyway, so sod it. I may as well go as Bruce. Try and do it in a calmer manner. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? 
Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey, we need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. I have always supported you. You were my friend. Tell me, Bruce, were you thinking about our friendship when you were screwing Selena? Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. The value of your estate could be used to do a lot of good. I'll pay this city back on my terms, not yours. Nah, I think I like my terms better. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. When they see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. That I would weed out the crime and corruption. Boy, you are really living up to your campaign slogan, aren't you? Put a dent in crime. Oh, I'm living up to it, all right. I'm about to put a dent in crime so large, it'll change the face of Gotham forever. <laughs> the children of Arkham won't know what hit them. What are you talking about? Ready to go. Harvey. Do it. Oh dear. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. Wow. We lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. We stopped the children of Arkham. See, he's gone mad. That's all that matters. That's, That's not good. what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? Does a leader kill innocent people? You're a murderer now. Their deaths are unfortunate. But think about everyone the children of Arkham could have hurt with those drugs. That feels he's like a terrible price to pay. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. That I am the guardian of Gotham. The new face of yours suits you. You're a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor, save citizens from Children of Arkham Terror Plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back, they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to Jesus. bear. Jesus. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company. I didn't realize he was going to be this nuts. Money. Well, I mean, pretty stupid. No one will question face. finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got yeah, out really of Yeah, I really don't want to do that, boys. Tragic, but unsurprising. If you kill me, you better make sure I'm dead. Because if not, what I did to Cobblepot will look like child's play. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Probably should have gone as Batman. <laughs> uh, I keep getting myself into like really bad positions in this game. I'm not very good at making the good choices. Come on, keep walking. Shut up. Just wait. Just keep moving. Look at what you're doing. This is wrong. And you know hey, it. He said shut up. Cops. You're supposed to protect people. Keep them safe. Is this really what your badge stands for? This is how we're keeping people no. safe. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. Harvey. 
He's not going to save Gotham. He's going to destroy it. No. No, 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 he won't. Look at what he's already done tonight. Do you think that's going to be the last city block he blows up to get his way? I, uh... I hadn't thought about it that way. Hey, don't listen to his crap. The mayor is the only one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... But and if you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I... Uh, um, maybe, uh... Maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Think for uh, yourselves. Nothing. Just think for yourselves. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than This that. isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to do what it takes. Officer! Drop your weapon! You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Den just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Den's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a yep. goddamn terrorist himself. Oh, a terrorist dear. with half the city's support behind him. The amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arkham might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Dent needs to be stopped, Jim. Now. Or that block won't be the last thing yeah, that gets destroyed. That's no, we'll stop him. But it ain't gonna be easy. It's a mess out there. I can't help but feel guilty. Oh, God. Batman Come gave on. me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. <sighs> I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Sounds to me like you're already on the right path. Weeding the bad seeds out of the department. Cutting down the enforcers. Yeah, I just hope it'll be enough. I don't want to be like, yeah, just let Batman handle it. Because that, that, that just sounds horrible to Gordon. He mess. is trying his best at the end of the day. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. Batman. What's the situation? I, I figured out how he's Thanks. causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battery. Keep it cupping. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the back computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Oh, no. Everything's going wrong. Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me for Choose. is Do we devices. help Alfred? Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at oh, once. Oh, God. That is a bloody horrible decision. Do we, do we help Alfred or do we stop the penguin? Uh. Hmm. Tough. Tough choice. I think we gotta. I'm going home. We gotta I'm help him. <laughs> Can't leave Alfred done his own. Can't do it. Another night at the office. Can't do it. Can't leave him on his own. Even though we might end up having all our bat technology taken away from us. Can't do it. Can't, can't risk losing Alfred. Nope. 
That looked awful. Not one step further. Now, come on, Al. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Somehow, I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Al, it's me, Harvey. No, not the Harvey I know. The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. Murderer? When a general sends his troops to kill the enemy, no one calls it murder. They call it murder. And I Penguin is still hacking my tech. The children of Arkham. Guess I'll be doing this the old-fashioned way. you doing here you've destroyed enough lives for one night i'm taking you in oh i get it you'll come to bruce wayne's aid when he needs it but not mine no not when i needed it you let that maniac penguin maim me look at me this happened under your watch i'm sorry i failed you but it's not too late let me save you now save me <laughs> You can't even save Bruce Wayne. He's dead. If you can't see the good I've done for this city, then you're no better than Lady Arkham or the Waynes. Now get out of here before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. <laughs> This Harvey, I know. There's his shotgun. You know what those are? Explosive slugs. <laughs> but you don't have any Actually, of those in that surprised. little belt of yours. I've got to keep it down a bit because I heard my mum come upstairs and I don't want to keep her awake. to die oh no don't do it your head or your oh. heart what's that sound your demise what the Dead Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. 
Who will stop Lady Arkham? The Penguin. Don't you give up on me, Harvey. I know you're still in there. I still believe in Harvey Dent. That's... That's good to hear. Mm. Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Agreed. Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent it's lives Arkham. he's responsible for. He should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. Mm. Do we send him to Arkham or prison? I'm trying to think what actually happened to him. Dent is too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually mm. be able to help him. I don't there. get that, but you yeah. Know. Yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you stay safe out there. Do my right? best. You too, Jim. Now he's got fully burnt side. Now he really is. Two faced. But only now. Mm. Al. Yeah, Al, everything's hacked. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now, Bruce. All of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. We're going down. Ooh, I'm assuming that's the end, right? Yeah, episode four, Guardian the Gotham. The good, the bad. I'm assuming that's the good, the bad, the ugly. Well, let's have a look at these. Did you promise Joker a favor? Yeah, it was Joker. Damn. You and 50.5% of players deny Joker a favour. Well, hell yeah. He's like Batman's main arch nemesis. I'm not going to promise him anything. Did you go along with Joker's plan? You and 31.2% of players chose to stop the fight instead. Yeah. I think that was the right call. Uh, even though that's the one that's done the least, I still stand by it. How did you get past the Enforcer Barricade? You and 51.2% of players paid the Enforcer at Harvey's security checkpoint. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we really had much of a choice. I didn't. Like, Bruce Wayne might be, his reputation might be damaged enough as it is. Uh, I don't think it really mattered which one we did. But I think having the enforcers not shoot at us in the second part as we were driving through probably made it a bit easier. Did you deal with Harvey as Bruce or Batman? 43.9% of players chose to talk to Harvey on a personal level instead of threatening him as Batman. Yeah, I wanted to try one more time. I feel like that's kind of where the story was taking it anyway. Probably bad to do that. Did you stop Harvey or Oswald? You and 45.6% of the players chose to stop Harvey from destroying your home and risked Oswald taking away your attack. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunate that for the last episode, Batman will have no technology, but it was needed. It's the risk we had to take. <laughs>